Uso's brand family. We are family. Good morning and what is up everybody? This is your host of Alterna TV, Brandon Stransky. Uh, today we will be doing things, well from here on out we'll be doing things a little bit differently. Uh, the last few shows I've done, uh, to be fair, as much as, as informative as they've been, kind of put me into a bit of a bad place, um, you know, just mentally and and quite frankly, I want to kind of do more uh, fun, entertaining stuff here. Kind of shy away from the politics and the conspiracy a little bit and kind of go back to, you know, what the show was about before and kind of talk about just, you know, different various other topics and forms of entertainment and media and, uh, and wrestling, of course. But, you know, we'll, we'll go back to that occasionally, but usually when I'll have a guest on or have somebody to bounce ideas back off of. But, you know, for... For the time being, at least, we're going to kind of go back to the old way of doing things here. Uh, sorry if that disappoints anybody. It's like it was really taking a bit of a mental toll on me. Uh, especially a lot of that stuff falling on deaf ears and nobody really listening to it. So, so yeah, going to get, get back to the old way of doing things. So, first thing I'd like to bring up is, uh, as you may have heard, trailer the new uh, season of Trailer Park Boys comes out on the 31st of March. And it will be animated, and they actually have a storyline reason for this. Um, uh, spoiler alert, at the end of Season 12, uh, the boys, well, seven of the characters, about uh, Ricky, Julian, Bubbles, Trevor, Cor not Trevor, uh, Jacob, Corey, Randy, and Leahy, had to, between the seven of the guys, had to consume about two pounds of mushrooms so they didn't get busted by the cops with them. And they trip so hard they turn into cartoons, and that's where season 13 or season one of the animated series, as Netflix is calling it, picks up. Where and they're kind of and they're still following that storyline of you're basically seeing things through their eyes because they're just tripping really, really hard on mushrooms. They're aware they're tripping. They even though it's animated, they still realize that the uh, physics of the real world still apply, which would be very interesting. And uh, one thing I saw that was really cool from the trailer is that it looks like that Cyrus is back. Um, they had a bit which was, they had a bit of a falling out a couple years ago. Uh, like I actually saw Bubbles and Cyrus, the, the actors who play them, getting into it on Twitter. You know, and it looked like that, you know, we probably would never see, you know, uh, those guys work together again. But then, ah, sorry about that. But then I noticed, like, but then, like, you know, a few days after that, they had that blow up, or it wasn't long after, it was when John Dunsworth passed away, and then you see those two liking and retweeting each other's as, uh, tributes to him. And then uh, Bernard Robichaud, who plays Cyrus, the uh, actor himself, coming down with prostate cancer, he has, of course, since beaten it, but, you know, those two, you know, doses of reality hitting those guys hard, I'd have to imagine, kind of. You know, kind of put things into perspective and made them realize, hey, you know, the stuff we were kind of fighting and getting pissed at each other over really ain't worth it. Which, you know, I was really happy to see. I'm really happy to see Cyrus back. Uh, he was always, I thought he was a really good villain who wasn't utilized enough in the show. And uh, and, I, and how they're going to minimize, at least how I think they're going to, based on the trailer, how they're going to minimize the le involvement of the Leahy characters. They had him get, which I thought was absolutely brilliant, is that they had him get carried off by a shit hawk. And if you've watched the show, then you know exactly where the shit hawk comes from. Uh, the other thing I'd like to, do, one of the other things I'd like to discuss today is a uh, oh, World of Warcraft. How they've been, things have been going with that. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been playing that much. It's really been kind of. I don't know what they've done to it. I don't like it. I I had high hopes. I was I, I was optimistic when it when the new expansion released, but what they're doing with the story and Sylvanas, I don't see how they how she can make it out of this expansion alive, let alone still War Chief, unless they're trying to pull some uh, stunt where she was right all along. But like, how could she? What she did was pure. What she's done is pure evil. You know, the character is the way she's been written. There's like no way you can. Like not have her, you know, get killed because she, because the storyline they're telling, 
that character is just evil and awful, like genocidal maniac. <laughs> like there's there's no way, no way that you can redeem that character. None. And I don't know what they're doing. I'm not happy with how where they've taken the story. It's it's just so dumb. Uh speaking of dumb stories, wrestling. What the hell, guys? Come on. Uh this has got to be the worst build for a Wrestle to a WrestleMania I have ever seen. The fact that the ratings are dipping week to week when last year they're actually gradually going up leading up into WrestleMania when they're going the opposite direction. Should be sending some alarm bells up in Stanford, but I doubt it is. Uh and I guess that is about it to do it with this week. Uh that's really all I've got on my mind. Oh, uh, one big thing I want to start doing later on is, like, doesn't really have to do with this show in particular, but uh, one thing I've been working my ass off on is this whole DoorDash thing. I don't know if you guys know what that is. DoorDash is like this app. It's kind of like Uber, where instead of picking up and dropping off people, you're picking up and dropping off food. And uh, and it's actually a really fun thing. You basically set your own hours. You're your own boss. Work when you want. Start when you want. Stop when you want. Basically, it's all up to you. And I've been able to make some extra money, and I got to finally got some stuff with my car taken care of. Once that stuff's paid off and taken care of, the next big thing I plan on doing is upgrading my phone and getting a tablet. That way I can start building a Twitch platform when I'm out on deliveries, and so I can start talking to people, chatting with people, build a following, build a platform there. Hopefully get that monetized. Um, I know it's going to take a lot of hard work and consistency, but I think I can do it. Uh, but yeah, that is about it for this, uh, this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching, as always, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Yeah, I'm afraid of